my gosh. Could you not just die? Wow, they really do have snakes in Marrakesh. It's chaos. <laughs> I literally want one of everything. I'm gonna have to edit that part out or else my mom is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Well, hello and welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I am so excited to share today's video. I almost can't stand it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Today, we're gonna take you shopping in Marrakesh. We absolutely love this sort of rustic luxury style. And when we travel, we love to try to collect things as we go. And it's always a lot of fun to discover new things maybe that we didn't even know about. And the cool thing about this is that the world has become a lot smaller place. So many of the items that we ended up buying are available on places like Etsy and even Amazon. So I'm gonna be sharing with you our, a little bit from our shopping excursion, and I'm gonna meet you back here and share with you what we bought because I kinda went a little crazy. <laughs> we took a whole suitcase with us for our trip just so we could bring stuff back with us, and I, I can't wait to share with you what we have found and these incredible discoveries and how I know you guys are gonna love these, and they're things that, they're just different something that you just don't see everywhere else and it's really beautiful and I'm excited to share this with you so don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we're gonna keep traveling I hope <laughs> if you guys love these kind of videos we'll just keep traveling and taking you places and shopping and having a lot of fun and uh, then sharing our great discoveries with you so uh, hope you'll hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you love going shopping and uh, just seeing you know Valentina this is what I do when I go travel Jack and I both just love it and yeah so let me know all right let's jump in The hotel told us about this little place and it's ended up having some really cute stuff. So some really pretty glassware and some other things that are just a little bit different. And uh, some traditional pieces as well. I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah. Really pretty stuff. chaos <laughs> people are trying to convince you to walk in and for us we've kind of been here <laughs> so been there, done that. we know what we don't like and the problem is is that I think what we do want is not going to be here because it's special order items that are made for the hotels and things or items that we know they don't make them in that color normally so they're being made for somebody so we kind of get People assume that we're gonna to be tourists because we're carrying a camera, but actually we actually kind of know what we want. There are some other shops that we can go to where it's a little bit more curated because we're looking for specific things. But yeah, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Gonna have to edit that part out or else my mom is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. They've got a little cafe in here. It's very cute. Very uh yeah very boho. Definitely LA, don't you think? Yeah. Oh look they even have the big hats oh for Instagram. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. 
Okay. I have all your couscouses and tagines. Mm -hmm. and that's great. Should we go check it out? Oh yeah, look up there. They've got a little rooftop part. This is fun. Right. So this city is so different from where we were before that we are dealing with shock that most people wouldn't understand. Because yes. <laughs> we didn't have stuff like this in our little town. So this is incredible. This is incredible. They've got French chocolates. I mean, our life would have been so different. We literally lived like locals. Yeah, we really did. Like there we went out without all of this stuff. We had one little supermarket in our city and like two West Western stores. Yeah. That's it. That was really it. So this is incredible. Yeah, it really is. Look at the blankets and things. Uh, I'm blown away by all that's here. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Those little oh, leather oh, are little really pretty. That's really fun. Though. Even the teapot has leather on the handle. It sure does. Did you see these? They're rectangular or kind of square. Yeah, those are really cool. Ooh, and all these pretty honeys. Yeah, the argon. They don't have the orange one though from this morning. Love these glasses on the bottom. Do you see this? Glasses that you love. Do you see these? With the greenish light. With the bottom like that. Oh, that is cool. It's still just like this color. This olive green color. Yeah. That is beautiful. You can get Ross Lahanut here. But this is nice because it's packaged. Yeah. Even we had to be mindful when we lived here about buying down the market and buying from certain vendors. So yes. if you're visiting, how would you know that? Yeah. So this is a nice thing to be able to buy them this way. You can pay a premium price, obviously, but then you know kind of where it's been. And we've got the Florida, that orange flower water. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Prickly pear vinegar. I'm overwhelmed. I mean, we've never been anywhere that had stuff like this. No, I know. It's water. amazing. I wonder if this was always here. I, we don't know. We'll have to look it up, but wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Little pretty coasters. Now I want one of everything. Ooh. Look at these. Oh, I love those. These are our trays from the hotel, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Maybe this is where some of this stuff's come from. Oh my gosh, look at these bowls. So many beautiful things. These are all handmade vessels here. And all these little boxes as well. And then the embroidered napkins. And the little sugar pots and creamers. I literally want one of everything. I'm gonna regret, am I gonna regret not getting that?
Brie Kulshi. Ah. Ah. Okay. Hatak Zween Bzaf. Wish the Futa. Yeah. 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 Brie Hadak. Yeah. Wow. one of these as well for the table. I have a red one at home still. These are really pretty. And then she said she has a lady that makes each of these pieces and they're made by hand. It's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I want one of every single thing. Look at these little vessels. That's extraordinary. Just made out of clay. I love it. And they're still downstairs. Look at all these beautiful wood pieces as well. We've got olive and walnut. Everything's just absolutely gorgeous here. And these pillows. I know you guys are going to be wanting these. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I love it. Well, do you want that one or the one that I just gave him? Do you want to look and pick? You like that one? Because I was thinking more like a towel. This, but this one's more like a blanket. I want to take a picture of this for the future. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah, I'm just making sure we just get what we want now. Would you rather have this, the blanket, or the or the towel kind of thing? That's a little shawl. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Maybe that's gorgeous. It's stunning. You're not going to regret not getting it? It's beautiful. We could use this to wrap stuff. Right. <laughs> we have plenty of things to wrap things in, but if you want it, <laughs> and then we want it, we literally want one of everything. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get it all home, but uh, this is, if you come to Marrakesh, this is Anitan. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so clearly we had fun shopping. It was so much fun. It was emotional. I think so much of the time in Morocco, I felt like I was smiling the entire time, but then like I almost couldn't like form words. <laughs> the funny thing about learning another language is that they say it's almost like, it almost compartmentalizes inside your mind when you're an adult. It's different if you're a kid, but I think part of it is that my mind was listening to so much of the Arabic that was going on around me. And so I didn't, I didn't say as much as I normally would. Normally I'm like, oh my God, you know? <laughs> and I was just like, I don't even know what's happening. Like, I was so overwhelmed. Uh, and I think my mind was just still like moving slower. It's like, I've got like an old processor. <laughs> so anyways, we had some fun shopping and we found so many beautiful things. Let me share with you first what we got in the Medina, the Medina being the old part of the city. So I've already given a few little things away to family and friends. Um, I'm a bit impatient. I, <laughs> I was just so excited to be able to share all the fun things with everybody. So one of the things that I love uh, that they do sell in Morocco, these are all handmade and they had the prettiest little jars. I'm definitely going to be looking on Etsy to see if I can find some more like this. Uh, this it was just perfect to be able to give as gift items. They're just so beautiful and I love the colors that they come in. This one's for my daughter and she loves this color pink. I bought a blue one for my mother-in-law and I bought a black one for our family friend. And I just think that they are, it's just one of those things. I love to have these kinds of things sitting in the bathroom especially. You could put little sugar cubes in them. Uh, if you haven't watched the other two videos of our trip to Marrakesh, I highly recommend it because we gave you two home, basically home tours, because both of the places we stayed, we had a home, uh, a little villa, not a little, it was huge, but yeah, it was amazing. So they use stuff like this in those homes and even like little cotton swabs and sugar cubes and rings. And I just love these kinds of little jars. So yeah, love that. Then, uh, had to get camels. <laughs> Actually, I got the buoys, the wooden boxes too, and I've already given them to them. Uh, 
gotten the wooded boxes as well. Those are all available on Etsy. I just love their little wood pieces. I think that they are so much fun and they it's a combination. Some are made out of olive wood, some are made out of walnut, but either way, I love the smell of the olive wood. It is the most amazing smell. I talked about it, especially in the first uh, home tour that we did at the first place we stayed. They had a lot of the different boxes and a lot of the different things. So I'm gonna be ordering more myself because I just love them and they, they smell good. They smell so good. And I just, I think it's just fun. One of the other fun things is that we discovered the orange honey. I don't know where Jack put it. I actually brought back a big jar of orange honey. We ran into the grocery store uh, and went in and because at our hotel, they were giving us this orange scented uh, honey. It was just the most amazing thing ever. So <laughs> we've also got the orange marmalade. Uh, these are literally made right there in Morocco, but I'm gonna give you guys links to where you can find similar items because this is incredible. It's so delicious to put a little bit on a baguette or on a crepe. Uh, you guys tell me how you guys eat your jam and honey, but uh, I mean, even just a little bit on a little bit of banana, <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, that was another fun little discovery. I'd never had that before and it was amazing. I was really looking for rustic luxury pieces that would really fit into my personal style and Anitan was the answer to that. So I bought this, which is supposed, you can use it as a shawl, you can use it as a headscarf, uh, take it to the beach and use it as a towel, use it in the bathroom as well. I thought that this would be absolutely stunning on the table. It's made of the gauziest, most amazing fabric with that gorgeous stripe on it and the little fringing, and I just fell in love. You guys know if you've been watching my Instagram, especially in any of our recent videos, I have these gorgeous embroidered pillows. They did not have those in Marrakesh. So they maybe are more regional to the area that we lived in before, which is up in the um, Middle Atlas Mountain region up near Fez. Uh, so they didn't have the ones that I have there, but I will leave a link for you guys because they're kind of hard to find actually. They did, however, have this type, which I had not seen before. These are uh, actually made on linen, and she said that they actually bring this linen from France. They're using French linen and embroidering on them. Oh my gosh, could you not just die? I know, okay. All right, there was my moment. <laughs> I'm trying to be calm, okay? I really loved their stuff. They have really nice zippers on the back. A lot of times what you'll buy in the Medina, the quality just is not there. So I've actually need to put new zippers on the ones that I have because they the zippers are all broken. These came with such nice zippers that I had to buy this one and I had to have the little lumbar one as well. I mean, how beautiful is this? So I love these sort of handicrafts and I just, I love heritage and artisanal handicrafts, just in general. I think that those cultural things, those things that people have been doing for generations after generations, those are the things that I just absolutely love. And I want to celebrate it. It's that heritage I think is so important, whether it's where you know it's in the US or it's where we're traveling that's the kind of stuff that I'm really looking for and I know so many ladies this is giving them jobs and it's keeping this heritage alive so gosh so I then I also bought this one which is hand embroidered as well and you can see it's got the beautiful look at the detail on this can you guys see that that move my, there we go look at the detail on this these are all handmade. They are gorgeous. So it is possible for you to order directly from Anitan, and I'm gonna put all of their information down there for you. If you're wanting to get a rug or uh, some of these linens, you can go directly to Anitan and you can place an order with her and she'll work with you on shipping. She speaks great English, she speaks French and Arabic. So we spoke English with each other because it was, 
<laughs> my, my Arabic is not that good anymore. <laughs> so we uh, spoke fluently in English together and it was great. So uh, they are amazing. Yeah, I, I was actually leaving the store without this because I was like, oh, I already got so much. And I just looked at this and I was like, I will regret not buying this. Do you know what I'm saying? Where you're like, going a little crazy, should probably hold back. I will regret this. I just adore this blanket. It is absolutely breathtaking. I wish that you guys could just reach through and feel the quality of this. That's what makes Aniton so different. The quality is just the best. It's just incredible. Look at the detail work on this. It, look at that. Isn't this just exquisite? So yes, you guys will love this shop. It's amazing. And I will try to link up some similar items as well that are available because I love this sort of the lightness of this blanket. This is definitely going to be going over the arm of the sofa. I love the little fringing and the little pom poms. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then I went to the ceramic section. <laughs> It was so hard, I wanted everything in the ceramic section. So I ended up getting this little one. Look at the silver on that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I cannot wait to put this in my bathroom. It's gonna be so beautiful in there. I just love it. I love the shape of it. I love the fact that it's lidded and I can keep things inside of it. I loved the size. I wanted one of all of them. <laughs> I really did. I wanted everything they had. So I got that one. And then I also got this little collection, which Jack really loved these. And so I may put these actually in the kitchen. And uh, it actually would be perfect for me to be able to put the Nespresso pods inside. And then some little sugar cubes inside of this one. The ceramics that they have there, they're using a very special clay and then using the artisanal methods in order to make these. And so the little tassels on them are just so beautiful. And I just kind of freaked out and just had to have it all. And then Jack had to have a little uh, espresso cup. <laughs> look at this. I mean, look at that. It's just incredible. I love pieces like this. I think that they are extraordinary and then I could not walk away without getting the tagine. It, it's just beautiful. I know that I'm gonna use this over and over. You can get other tagines. Um, I'll look to see if I can get something similar like this off of Etsy. Uh, I've always wanted a black one as well, but this one was just so beautiful with the white stoneware inside and then this sort of matte finish on it. As you saw if you watched our other videos, I loved how they even just serve food in these. They're so beautiful. So even if you don't want to cook a tagine, uh, if you watched the other videos, you would have seen that we had tagines in those, which is just basically, it's just chicken. They, if they use it in the, if they cook it in the tagine, they just put like a little bit of oil and then they put chicken in there. And then sometimes they'll put like olives and uh, preserved lemons and just let it cook for a while. All right. And they'll put some broth in there and they'll just cook it and it's delicious and you eat it with bread. Amazing. So you could do that with these or you can also just use them for serving. So I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> then finally, they gave us one of their bowls uh, made out of the walnut wood as a gift because clearly we had just about cleared out the shop. <laughs> it was very sweet though. These have, see the olive wood, the, the walnut does not smell the same way as the olive. It's a very neutral smell actually on those. This is gonna definitely go into the kitchen and be, I can't wait to serve with it. I think it's just beautiful. I think walnut is such a warm color. And then I'm thinking, ooh, I can also serve with this little bowl. I loved these pieces. I knew I was gonna regret it and I got home and I was looking for the little animals. I thought I'd bought an animal and I talked myself out of it and now I'm like, and of course, I wish I'd bought the animals. I was looking for it. I thought I'd gone back and gotten it and then I realized, Oh, I didn't. The, these are made by uh, one of her friends and it's literally made with clay. It's made in the same methods that they have been using for generations. Uh, look, look at that. It is exquisite, truly exquisite. 
You can use these to serve food in, you can uh, put bread in them, uh, you can use them just, I have been talking about, if you guys remember how when I was styling up the bookshelves where you're looking for that item that you don't have, this was it. I was like, this is the thing that I keep looking for that I don't have in my home decor. And so I grabbed it immediately. So there you go. That is what we bought in Morocco. We did a lot in a very short period of time, I think, but we had some serious fun. I hope that you are enjoying these little travel vlogs and getting to see these amazing places. Let us know in the comments if you're enjoying it. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already because next up is Paris. So we've got a lot to share with you guys and we cannot wait. Also make sure you check out the fashion channel because over on the fashion channel, we shared with you what, what I wore while we were there and Jack helped me film those and it was a lot of fun just to share different outfits and uh, we, there's extra clips over there as well. So we just had the best time. We just had the best time. It was really fun to go just the two of us on our anniversary trip like that. And uh, we didn't take the kids, but we took you guys. <laughs> They get to see these videos too. So it was a blast and we hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. So thank you again for stopping in and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.